To be effective, body armor must maximize coverage without hindering movement, and it must fit properly. Concealable and tactical vests should be snug, yet comfortable, as major gaps between the vest and body could expose an officer to bullet penetration. Whenever possible, departments should custom fit the armor to the individual officer. Trained personnel from manufacturers can assist with proper fitting for optimal protection. The body armor that I currently have and that was originally issued to me was custom fitted. Um, it w I was measured and I was uh, fitted for the body armor. It's a completion of, of my uniform. Um, just as my belt, my socks, my, having my weapon, having my radio, if I have it with me, I have a better chance of surviving anything, whether it be a gunshot, knife stabbing, or an accident. Body armor has four major areas of coverage, the front, back, sides, and under the arms. Officers should check that these four areas achieve proper fit and coverage. Confirm from the standing position that the bottom of the concealable vest is two or three finger widths above the top of the duty belt. The bottom of the tactical vest should be even with the bottom of the duty belt. The top of each vest should be at the second button of the uniform shirt. Typically, officers leave the shoulder straps attached on concealable and tactical vests slipping the vest over their heads and onto their shoulders. Once in place, the sides of the vest are secured. The sides are one of the most vulnerable points of the vest, especially if they're not properly fitted. The front armor panel must overlap the back to ensure maximum protection against near edge shots. If the back panel incorrectly overlaps the front, the bullet could enter between the panels and cause injury. Coverage under the arms should be as high as possible without hindering movement. Female officers need maximum coverage around the bust area on both sides. Comfort for the female officer depends on customization. Some manufacturers design vests with staggered and overlapping darts to create bust cups. This feature requires that stitch lines be tested for flaws.